And the thing is, if you have lots of options, you feel better about yourself and you build more confidence and it shows, it reflects to the girls. Make sure you have multiple options. Don't focus on one girl that you meet at the social and then start singling out all the other, you know, eliminating all the others. The ones I see that have most success are ones that have two, three, four options. Usually the first option, because men are all the same, we fall looks, fall in lust, and focus on one because of her beauty. And then the second or third option I see guys hanging out with when they can't date the first one because they like hanging out with this one. And then that one actually grows into a real relationship and then the other one fizzles out. And I had that happen multiple, almost every tour, there's a guy that goes, no, I wanna focus on her, I know what I'm doing. And then three, four, five days in the tour, it fizzles out. And now he's in the hospitality room trying to make a new date and he's got two dates and now he's really trying to get desperately trying to do something and then he's on those dates and now he's feeling really desperate and the women can sense that. And so then it's hard to attract a woman when you're feeling desperate. <laughs> When I go to the socials, I don't pay attention to any of the women, right? Because I'm married, I'm perfectly happy, and I don't think. But then they're always coming up. What about him? What about him? Me and Patricia were in Colombia last week, and the translators were constantly coming up to us saying, this girl wants to meet you, this girl wants to meet you. And that was because we were totally indifferent to them. And that on the social dynamic scale, that that's considered high value when you're indifferent. But if you're sitting there going, oh, please go out with me, do this, do that. And it shows neediness, and that's a big turnoff to women. You know, we had a client that on the last tour, and he was texting the girl. And he said, good morning to her, how are you doing? She didn't answer. Then he texted her a few minutes later, are you okay? Then about 15 minutes later, he texted her again, why aren't you answering me? And, he, and then he said, well, did I do something wrong? By noon, he had texted her 15, 20 times. Finally, she answered. She goes, I'm at work. I can't use my cell phone. And she was quite upset because her phone kept going beep, 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 beep. So, but that's considered neediness. And it's even subconsciously, women don't like that. They want a guy who's confident. Just keep that in mind. You know, you don't want to act too anxious to the women. You know, we had another client. He called the girl, asked her out for a date and she agreed and on Friday night. On that same call, he goes, well, what about Saturday? And she goes, well, I don't know. I haven't gone out beyond Friday. He goes, well, if you're not gonna go out with me again. <laughs> so a lot of little things like that. And the thing is, if you have lots of options, you feel better about yourself and you build more confidence and it shows, it reflects to the girls. I always remember when I first, before I went to St. Petersburg, I would go into Houlihan's, this nightclub in Phoenix, and I would kind of analyze who I was gonna go up, you know, try to hit on. And then some other stud would come on, I'd go, God, man, I was already setting my, you know, standards kind of, you know, lower. <laughs> And then went to St. Petersburg and God, I had so many different girls hit on me. My ego and confidence was way up there. And now I'm in that bar and now I'm going, no good, no new good, no good. Now girls were coming up to me because they could see my demeanor and my confidence and it just changes it completely. So that's one thing you should get out of this tour though, is learning that you have lots and lots of options. In America, dating is hell. You know, both for men and women. I hear women say it's hell, men say it's hell, it sucks. And the older you get, the worse it gets. So, but here, when you come here, or Philippines or Columbia, you realize you have all these different options. You know, even if it doesn't work out here, because this is one culture, Philippines is another culture, Colombia is another culture, you have all these different options, so you shouldn't be in a rush to find someone specifically on this tour necessarily. Because when you set that goal that you have to find someone, it hinders your ability to actually find someone. Searching for that one special woman to complete your life? Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. A new bride .com.